Alright guys, Captain Alex Mason here. Um, I decided to change my mind on the uh, DS thing. I think I will be playing the zombies. I, don't, I just want to see how far I get. So house, a rural house is your last hope for survival as the zombies advance facility. An abandoned research facility has been overrun by zombies. Unlock its secrets to survive. Temple. Zombies advance on these jungle ruins. Something lurks in the darkness. Overlook. Don't overlook the zombies that are coming to kill you. Because that ain't helpful whatsoever. That laughter doll. Okay, so character is Sergeant Yuri Roslov. And char other characters are Russian zombies. Ah, oh, shit. Die! Again, I'm supposed to have more than... So far I'm not liking this. Um, Russian zombies, and, uh, what was another one? I feel like they're supposed to be viable. Oh, really? Five grand? That's malar that's a whole load of horseshit. Yeah, because, you know, I'll. This is fucking hard. Oh, screw you. Ah, oh, damn it. There's no way. I don't know how anybody can beat this. And hellhounds are in the game. Again, why am I not allowed to carry more than one weapon? This is pathetic. You know, at least in the real zombies, you are... Jeez. And then you make they make me pay five grand just to open a door. A door. What kind of crap is this? And they do really want you to aim for this freaking head. Shit. What? Oh, come on! I hit him in the head like how many times? Oh my god, this is pathetic! Shut up, you fucktard. Oh, I am having so... Again! Why? Why can't I carry more than one gun? This is dumb. This is retarded. 
I usually don't like saying that word, but they give me no choice. Freaking aim! You're lucky that... I am so bad. I, I don't... I don't really know how people can play this game. Because I honestly don't know how to even freaking survive. Again, the game is full of shit. It won't let me open a door. Like, it's way too overpriced to open the freaking door. The online doesn't work, which really screws the game itself because now you can't play it. Well, I mean, you can, but... Oh, come on, that was a headshot. Stay away. What? Oh my god! I don't- I give up! I don't know what to do with you! You are a pathetic game! I don't know what to do. This game, it doesn't even have any easter eggs and it's so- it's hard as balls. I may not be a DS player, but there is no way it should be that hard. And another thing, there's no way the game should be so overpriced when it comes to opening a door. You don't pay five grand just to open a door in the real zombies game. This is supposed to be based on that. I take it that whoever developed this game, End Space, was on drugs when they thought, yeah. Five grand seems like a reasonable amount to pay to open a door. Dumbasses. And as for the aim for the head thing, that may be what the real zombies are supposed to be, where they don't die unless you shoot them in the head. But don't make it, like, you know, a requirement in zombies mode, because in zombies mode, any kill gets you the kill in the game, in real zombie, like, in zombies for Call of Duty. Don't incorp like, enforce the aim for the head rule, because the aim for the head rule really sucks when you have a crappy gun. Ugh. Also, why did Nintendo think it was a smart idea to get rid of the online playing part for Black Ops DS. That is dumb. I mean, so what? DS is an old system. But, y you know, the 3DS, it it's the same system. The only difference is that it's got 3D on it. That's pathetic. Like, why would anybody want to waste their money, spend it on a 3DS when it's the same thing as the Nintendo DS. I don't know. I... I can't... I can't do it. And... That's another thing I have a problem with is... In some of these missions, I can only carry one weapon. Why can't I carry two? Like, and again, like the real zombies game. Why can't I carry two weapons? You know, they at least got the part where you spawn in with a pistol, but they failed when you buy a gun, you can't actually, you know, hold on to your pistol, which, again, 
freaking sucks. I managed to play Noct Notched on Toten or Noct Noct Duran Toten by myself and beat it. This I can't. And I don't want to sound I don't want to make this whole video sound like I'm just complaining my ass off because I am really but only because N Space thought it was a great idea, you know, to make everybody hate zombies on this game. I s unfortunately for me, I still have to play it because I have not opened the other door or doors. I don't really know how many there are on this game. And I haven't introduced you to the Hellhounds yet. So technically game's not over yet. I th thank God that this will be put on a separate playlist. It will be put on my zombies playlist because, you know, I already, te well, not technically, I got everything but that stupid Easter egg and the weapons room unlocked for regular Black Ops. I'm not going to start a playlist for this just yet because, I, unlike Call of Duty Classic, that was my favorite, and I wanted to get everybody, I want everyone who hasn't seen it yet, experience and, you know, understand my emotions I have for the original Call of Duty game. And, you know, this one was my favorite because I like playing consoles, and I'm thinking I might have to start learning my way using a computer like play on a PC because I have never played a PC FPS before. Um, I still have to do the other maps which is going to be fun. Let's just hope <sighs> that this game better be worth it. I'm going to like you know, practice with this, maybe. Ugh, I really hate the freaking door thing being five grand. It should, most starting doors start off as 750. I don't know why they just say, they don't have pack-a-punch in this game, but that's how much points I would need to pack-a-punch. I can't get that amount of points in this game. But with that being said, I am going to upload this, but I'm going to call this part one because, you know, I didn't finish it. I really hope I don't end up, like, screwing this up. It was very disappointing, though. I'll, I will tell you that. So I'm going to practice this myself, play around, see what I can do, or, and then figure out why Sergeant Kendall still won't let me get in and access the weapons room, even though I used every single weapon. It's bullshit. I don't know. I'm Cat Alex Mason, and I'll see you guys later.